Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are good. Um, today I just want to show you that um, now that we're back to level one, then hopefully I can create more videos for you guys. Um, speaking of level one, I got an email last time from the um, from my coaches, managers, um, that we will be going back to basketball trainings and stuff. We usually do little games during our training. So hopefully I'll be able to create a full court of um, what we do and that you guys can enjoy a bit of challenges too. Um, I usually get there and warm up so I'll be able to create videos like that for you guys um, on how I do my training. Um, and yeah, I am looking forward back to basketball and I think it's this week we will be starting back to basketball um, training and that hopefully I can make more videos for you guys and you guys can enjoy. Um, I'm a person I've never played in a high school basketball, I've never played in a professional team but for the love of basketball why I've joined is because the only sport that I can do is because of I have my two hands. Most of you seen my videos that I had a prosthetic leg. Um, and that I never give up on what I love doing. But you people out there want to tell you that it's not too late to follow your dreams or follow your goals. Just do what you love and find something out there that you love. It might be cooking, it might be tennis, might be golf, might be, I don't know, hockey, might be wheelchair basketball um any sport out there or anything that you love doing just want to tell you that never give up on what you love um like for me example i've never gave up on what i did i've never gave up on my goals ever since i found out i had diabetes um lost my leg i've tried different sports playing football i tried playing basketball but I played in a wheelchair basketball. I tried playing cricket. I played other stuff. I wasn't really, um, I wouldn't say good, but I wasn't that well at those kind of sports till I tried upper body basketball, able body basketball. So I found a team when I came to New Zealand. I previously used to stay in Australia, Townsville, Queensland, and I played wheelchair basketball. Um, I came here and I joined the basketball here, a basketball team, wheelchair basketball. A uh, few months later, I found out that I had a kidney failure, so I went into dialysis. I did dialysis for nearly three years, three, four years. And last year, I had a call from the doctors and they told me I will be having a kidney transplant. And that was the biggest, the biggest dream, the biggest dream that ever happened it was a wish come true and i thank god for giving me a second chance to finish in the dreams and goals that i've always won so for you out there i want to tell you it's not too late to follow what you love even though it's cooking um football basketball sports cooking or teaching others even you can be a teacher it's not too late to do things like you love for me, I love cooking, I love teaching others, I love music, I love playing sports. But only one thing in my life that was easy for me to do was playing basketball. Because most of you have seen some of my videos that I, I have a prosthesis leg, but I've never given up. Even though I get go struggling through pains and tough times, I've never given up on my dreams. Because I've always believed in fear and had faith in my mind that it's maybe tough for most people. It was really tough for me to follow my dreams, but I told myself to never give up. So, um, through my journey, I learned a lot through friends, um, mates I've met, families told me never give up your dreams just do what you love and 
you get it. So I started creating basketball videos, uploading, playing 1v1s, teaching you how to practice, um, teaching you my sh shooting positions, all my talents that I learned from was from playing wheelchair basketball. And playing wheelchair basketball is pretty hard. It's like if you set up wheelchair basketball, it's pretty hard. Set up um country wheelchair basketball. I'll put the links in the description so you guys can have a look. Um yeah, a video that I they put me in a video um to remember that I used to play. But yeah. So I started creating videos and continuing basketball video content for you guys. I started this year and I'm pretty new to creating videos and contents but I'm getting well at it and basketball has gave me a lot of a lot of thinking through on I don't know enjoying life and teaching others that I don't want you to be like me that struggles I want you to follow your dreams and a guy like me who had a kidney failure, um, who had a, I had problems with seeing. I usually never wore glasses when I was 20 till I had problem with eyesight because of, um, it wasn't eyesight, it's that it was hard for me to read. So I um, had a laser surgery. Um, most of you know it's a cataract surgery, I think, cataract, cataract, for my eyes. And then I started wearing glass a few years ago, about seven, eight years ago. Um, and then I started creating basketball videos. So that's where my journey began on becoming a basketball player. Um, yeah, so I designed my own late logo, which is that. It's called JT Next Generation. Why I came up with JT Next Generation is JT is my initials to my first name and last name. Jeremy is my nickname and T for the party. Um, if you search me up Jeremy to party, I have a music channel as well. I'll put the link in the description as well so you can check out that I share music videos. Um, I'm not really sure. Every week I do. I write new lyrics and new songs and I share people just to say that um it's great music mo music to me it calms me down and it makes me relax sometimes before i go into my you know basketball practices and stuff because music is a relaxing thing for me i even listen to music sometimes when i'm practicing um but yeah follow me on in my instagram page just search up jeremy to party um i mean sorry that's my other channel, but JT Next Generation also. The links will be in the description, or you can just check in my abouts, where you can click on the link. Um, yeah, and follow me. Um, but yeah, this is my journey on how I became a basketball player and started creating content. But I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you can get notified every day. I mean, sorry, every week. I upload my videos from Thursdays and Sundays. Um, I usually go to ASP. Um, now that we are back to level one in New Zealand, so we can, um, I'll be able to create more content and play a full court sometimes or play 5v5 on the court. But I'm not really good, like I said. I play for the love of basketball because it, it keeps me happy to see other kids playing as well. But likewise, check out my Instagram page, follow me. I post most weeks on what new what new things I'll be doing this coming, um, this coming year or whenever I like uploading videos, I remind. I post something on to say that I will be creating new content. Um, but otherwise, 
I'll see you guys in the next video and hope you guys have a good week. And if you want to come to ASB, we start our basketball training from uh, we start our basketball training on Thursday. I think it's next Thursday coming. I play with a team called Wellington Basketball. Um, Wellington Basketball Special Olympics Wellington Basketball Team. Sorry. Yeah. So. I will see you guys. Hopefully, you guys can come around a bit early. I usually get there around 3 so I can do warm up practices. But otherwise, I'll see you guys later. God bless you, and like I said, stay strong and stay true to yourself and keep on dreaming.